photo shoot today with Nathan. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We're here near Shibuya Crossing at the crosswalk by Shibuya 109 and there's a ton of stuff to do so we're gonna have some fun. No real plan, no real schedule. We're just gonna wing it but one thing I do know is that we might go thrifting. We might go looking for some heat if you're into that kind of stuff then make sure you stick around throughout the vlog. The current game plan right now is to do a bunch of the things in Shibuya. So first up we're gonna hit Kindle right behind me. I'm very excited to hit this place up because they usually have some pretty good stuff. They're also having a really good sale so I'm hoping that they got something in my size. Yeah, this is a good reputable place if you're after things like Yeezy Boosts and uh, all these other brands and Hypey stuff too. This is like Hypey's heaven. Yo, they sell Gregory. Poor shout Gregory. Out, shout out Gregory. Hey, hi. What's your name? Fami. I'm from Singapore. Oh, sick. Nice to meet yeah. you, man. Uh, what show we do? That's dope. <laughs> first things first, here's a look at some of the sneakers they got. got. These Supreme Runners right here. These aren't actually that bad. I don't really wear too many 90, uh, 97s, but I can get with these. They're not Air Forces, dude. Those are, are Vandals. No, they're not. It says Vandal right there. Air Force One. Vandal John High Elliot. Premium. You're crazy, bro. You're crazy. Do you want the semen vans? I actually like them. You like semen on your vans? No, like, if they didn't say it was blood and semen, yeah. people would wear those. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just because they're called blood and semen. Nate found the Independence Day Air Max 90s. This is actually the sneaker that was in the thumbnail for my sneaker documentary, if you guys haven't seen that. I'll leave a link down below. 18,000 yen, they're his size. I've been wanting these for years. Nate's trying to figure out if they're real or not. He needs to do, like, a quick, legit check, because they're going for 800 pounds on some places, but... We'll find out, we'll find out. Yeah, here's a look at some of the Adidas sneakers they got. Some Boosts, some Yeezys, Beluga 1.0s, 2.0s. I still need the blue tints, but not about to buy them in Japan, maybe in Canada. They have a ton of Supreme stickers here, oh my gosh. And so, you know what, we're gonna buy one of the stickers today. And if you guys want the sticker, comment down below your favorite piece you see in this video and like the video, and I'll pick one person in the comments and send it to them. So, do that if you want. They also got some Supreme LV, this stuff is crazy. We got a pink box logo, the Brooklyn T right here too. Some Supreme bouncy balls. I didn't even know Supreme made bouncy balls. Balls. This right here, I am so tempted to buy. I know I showed it to you guys before, but they only want 30,000 yen for it, and there's no tax. It's a pretty good price. Size medium, but uh, I already spent so much on this trip. I don't want to make a huge, huge purchase like this. I'm looking for some steals today in the thrifts. Not like, well, expensive steals. <laughs> this is a steal, but not what I'm trying to pay. Nate has now determined they are real. Is it time to cop? 200 bucks, flight club price. Jeez. Savings. Black Supreme hoodie right here. Pretty dope. And then on the very back, it has this design. I'm not sure even what it's from. And then it says blood and sperm all over the place up there. I don't, uh, I don't understand. <laughs> Nate might be going on a little spending spree. He just caught the indies right now for his steal. I was looking at some Marsh Noir pants. By the way, if you guys didn't know these Supreme Fives I'm wearing, I actually got these from a thrift store in Japan too. Pretty lit. So make sure you watch all the Thrifting Japan vlogs. Straight to feet. Straight, Straight to feet. Nathan is super happy right now. He just picked up those Independence Day Air Max 90s, looking hella fresh. Next up, we're gonna head over to the other Kindle location in Shibuya, and I think any other store that might be in that area too. Never thought I'd see the end, but we went down. Kindle, let's get it. We're watching. First things first, I got all the Supreme North Face goodies. We got some uh, kid size black infrared sixes, the uh, Sport Blue threes. These look pretty cool too. Some Vans, half checkered blue, 
half checkered red. Jordan selection right here. Let's see what we got. We got some uh, the Atmos threes, size 27.5, 9.5 US, 9.5 US for 30,000 yen. Gatorade sixes for 25,000 yen. Some bread ones for 40,000 yen. Okay, okay. That's that's not horrible. That's not horrible. All star ones. We got some white cement fours going for 16,000. 16,000 yen. That's it. Size 11. And they even have a Bape Shrug hoodie. What the heck? This is a pretty dope bathing eight piece. It's like this denim kind of material. I mess with it. I mess with it. Only uh, asking about a hundred bucks. Supreme Comme de Garçon. We also got some Akira Supreme, which they didn't have last time. This jacket is actually so sick. It's like this plaid jacket for winter. Scarce, where you at boy? Where you at Scarce? So we're in the back of the store right now and oh my gosh, they got some bread for us. Bread for us for 20,000 yen. Size 11 US. Not too bad. Not not too shabby. They also got these snakeskin 11s. I'm not too big of a fan of these. The next store we're going into is called Ragtag. I've actually never shopped in here before in Japan, but it's a big chain. They have a bunch of, what is he? Bruh. This is a big chain in Japan, so if you're looking for two chains, two thrifting chain stores, I recommend you check out. It is Kindle, one, Ragtag is two. So let's check out Ragtag and see what they got. Boy, if you don't, oh my gosh. <laughs> This store is actually pretty big. So we found the Supreme section right here. Got the Supreme Dragon sweater. Got this camouflage mini boga right here. They got this red Supreme hoodie for 30,000 yen. Pretty cool. What's this on the back though? I have no idea. Rough Riders. Rough Riders? Okay, okay. Plaid bomber jacket. Cheetah print bomber jacket. This is a pretty cool Supreme bomber jacket. It's orange and navy blue on one side, and it's just like blue digital camo on the other. They got some Supra TK Societies here. This is one of the last shoes I'd expect them to have for 4,200 yen. Okay, okay. We got some uh, designer gang. We got some Saint Laurent. Saint Laurent, oui, oui. Ooh, 18,000 yen. Also tech runners? Bit beat up. Tech runners. <laughs> I can't do that. You don't like these? Nah, I can't mess with those. Man. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So uncultured. Air Jordan 1s right here. Not too bad, about a hundred. No, this is about like 90 US dollars. Got some Blue Hornet 5 and uh, Puma XO Parallels in the green colorway. This is their Yeezy selection. Not too much, but I mean the prices are sort of decent. They got one blue tin and they got two Beluga 2.0s. So that was Ragtag. Next up, we're going to a store called Notorious, like a giant department store, sort of like Ikea. We were there last trip with Richard. I've been wanting to pick something up ever since I saw it there, but I regret not buying it the first time. About to roll through to Japanese Ikea to get an arm pillow, because when it's cuffing season and you're, and you're cuddling with your ting, sometimes your arm gets tired when you're trying to pine it, you know what I'm saying? Pine it, pine it, pine it. Yo, I've never seen this before. The Japanese take their ping pong seriously. Holy cow, I got a ping pong store right beside the Ikea, pretty lit. Notorious right there, but Nate found a store, so uh... Yeah, we're going. We're going? Let's get it. We're going, let's get it, let's get <laughs> it. Second so floor. Pull up to this recycle shop real quick, trying to get some steals. Dog, yo, you know I'm trying to be frugal out here, bro. They got some Supreme shirts right here. Yeah, that Supreme logo over there is actually a really good price, 44,000 yen. We got some others. New York stuff, Supreme Duffel. Yo, I didn't even know these existed, man. They got Bape, Airwalk, Chukkas with Sherpa on the inside. Bruh. Got this pretty cool Supreme Akira T right here. I mess with it, I mess with it. This is probably one of my favorite from the collection. It's a long sleeve. They got some Adidas NMDs for a very, very good price. Okay, okay. We're running through some of the sneaker selection, guys. We got some Ultra Boost, some Tubular Dooms, some ZX Flux Slip-Ons. This is cool. I didn't even know they made this colorway. Let's look at some of the other goodies. We got some blazers. This is dope, man. They got some black geo baskets for a steel price. I want a pair of these, but they're just so expensive, man. This is pretty cool. They got the golf the floors right here. So we're inside of Notori right now. Really big store. It's really big store. Let's find these plushies. Do you want an owl? Do you want a creepy porcupine? Do you want a lion or do you want a llama? Oh, man, that's tough decisions. I feel like I want to get a llama. Uh, you know, for the sake of Carl from Jimmy Neutron. We got the owls right here. We got the little alpacas or llamas, but you can't put your arms inside. I know that sounds horrible, but you can't put your arms inside of those. This is what we're here for. They got the big juicy owls right here. 
We got the big juicy uh, not so spiky porcupines. We got the lions right here. Arm oh. right through that. That's exactly what we're gonna use. And then we have the llama alpaca kind of thing. So cause I know my girlfriend collects these like alpaca things. I think we're gonna go with this and then uh, you can join us in the cuddle sessions. This is what it looks like, you know, when you're high beast mode inside of the store. Looks good, it's a good accessory. I think Bape needs to do a collaboration with the Tori. That'd be kind of dope. I think it kind of looks like a dual disc, like from Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> you activated my trap card. Tower Records, your store triggers me because it looks like you use Comic Sans for the font at the front of your store. I can't, I can't bro, I can't even. There's like thrift stores everywhere in Japan, so it's right across the street. So right off the bat, Balenciaga. Off white cream over here. We got a black bogo. We got, we got a black and red come de garçon bogo. Cow camouflage. I don't think that's good looking at all. I think that's ugly. We also got the American flag one. I hate that one too. They have a pretty good selection of sneakers here. We got some ones. We got the Ricardo T skis in the back for what? That's a really, really good price. Some Tiffany supply dunk highs. Some more ones, they're asking an awful lot for these. Oh my gosh. Yo, the subway is packed. There's absolutely no way we're getting on this train. The subway system in Japan is super lit and it's always packed during the rush hour. It's like crazy, crazy packed. And the trains are like twice as big as the ones in Toronto. Quick little stop into the uh, Japanese grocery store. We got this peach popsicle, I'm a cop. We got some Pocky, the share size, which is like double the amount of Pocky, but they're like thinner in, uh, in circumference. And check it out too, they have so many like toys and stuff. Like they got some Fire Emblem, no that's not Fire Emblem, I think it's Sky Girls. But they got a bunch of like anime cards, they got Pokemon, like postcard kind of things. Hatsune Miku, they got some like multi-anime cards right here, that's the dude from Haiku. And then there's just like so many cool, Dragon Ball Z, Super Dragon Ball Heroes trading cards. Like these grocery stores are really, really lit. Tons and tons and tons of weeby stuff here. Dragon Ball Z puzzle, you can buy a Dragon Ball super puzzle at the grocery store in Japan. That's really lit. We got the small size candy. Oh man, I think I'm getting cavities just looking at all this stuff. 